is teacher Shelly. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember to click subscribe. Today, I will introduce something fun, something interesting. Hi everyone. Today, I will talk about matching gap text. It's the last component for our reading test and also the most difficult part to score for the reading test. Why? I will give you some tips on how to answer matching gap text. Stay tuned! First, read the title of the text. The title gives you the overall impression of the text. Whether the text is about accident, story, dengue, or COVID-19. Okay, next, read through the given sentences. Try to find out more about the text. Make sure you understand about all the given answers. Okay, if you do not understand, don't worry. Try to move on. Okay, next, we read through the given passage slowly. If there is any words that you do not understand, don't worry. Try to move on. Reading the overall text will give you an overall impression about what the text is about. And finally, choose the answer that fits best the situation. You can look for clue given in the sentences before and after the blank. Good luck, everyone! Okay, now we will look at practice one. The practice one is about an airplane crash. An airplane refers to aeroplane. So, the aeroplane met with an accident. So, you can imagine what happened during the accident. Okay, now let's look at the instruction. The instruction is... You are going to read a story about a plane crash. Six sentences have been removed from the text. Choose from the sentences A to H to fit each gap, 1 until 6. There are two extra sentences which you do not need to use. For each question, mark the correct answer A to H. Okay, so normally you will be given eight sentences, but you only need six sentences as your answers make sure you choose them carefully as the answers are quite close to each other do not be worried if there are any words that you do not understand now let's look at the given answers there are eight answers but you only need six of them a Park Sama sensed that the plane had engine failure. Okay, sense means uh, he felt that. B, he seemed to be unconscious. Unconscious means he's not aware of it. C, a huge column of black smoke was coming out from the red cage. D, he was still alive but badly Then injured. he quickly ran to then another farmer's house and asked for help. Okay, F. He was sound asleep. Sound asleep means he was he sleeping deeply in sleep. G. They asked the driver to send the pilot to a hospital. And H. They accompanied the driver in the car. So in total, there are eight sentences given to you. And you only need to choose six sentences. Okay, now let's look at the given passage. An airplane crash. One day, Pak Sama was walking in his paddy field. Okay, imagine in your head what is happening. Suddenly, he saw a small airplane flying low over the field. Okay, so there probably could be only one uh, one driver in the plane. There was a trail of thick black smoke coming from the tail of the plane. Okay, so you can imagine Pak Samad was walking on the field. There was an aeroplane flying above his head. 
get a smoke coming out from the plant. Okay, so what is the answer for number one? Okay, now let's look at the given answers. What do you think is the answer for number one? Okay, the closest answer will be Yes, bingo. But Sama says that the plan had engine failure. Okay, now let's move on. But Sama quickly thought of what to do. The small plan plunk and crashed into the paddy field with a deafening sound. Deafening means very loud. The plan broke into two. Okay, so what happened next? Let's look at the given answers. Okay, so imagine in your head a plan crash broke into two. Then the next thing that happened will be yes, bingo. A huge column of black smoke was coming out of the wreckage. Okay, so the answer is C. Okay, now let's move on to paragraph 2. When some of the smoke cleared, Park Saman ventured near the cockpit. Cockpit is the place where the driver sits. He could see that the pilot was still inside. Number 3. He was slumped against his seat. For a moment, Park Saman was shocked. He did not know what to do. Okay, so next, what do you think will be the answer? Yes, right. The answer is B. He seemed to be unconscious. Unconscious means he's unaway. He's not he fell into a deep sleep. Okay, let's continue. For a moment, Pak Samad was shocked. He did not know what to do. Panic seized him. And then two farmers came to his aid. Together, they rushed to the scene of the crash. Okay, so you can imagine Pak Samad was very nervous, was very uh, afraid. Okay, so two friends suddenly two friends came to his help. Okay, so what should be the answer for number four? Okay, the question seems to be tricky, right? Okay, so you must imagine in your head what is happening there. Okay, so all seems to be correct answers. The answer is number is E. Then he quickly ran to another farmer's house and asked for help. Okay, and then two of his friends came to help him. Two farmers came to his aid. Together, they rushed to the scene of the crash. Okay, let's continue with the next paragraph. Pak Samad and his friends hurriedly dragged the pilot from the plane. They felt his pulse. Okay, so they tried to see whether he's still alive or not. It's going to happen next. Yes, the correct answer for number 5 is D. He was still alive but badly injured. Okay, now let's move on to the last part of the text. His thigh had a deep cut while his leg appeared mangled. Okay, mangled means they were trapped inside with the wire. The three farmers stopped a passing car. Okay, so you can imagine in your mind what is happening there. They thanked the driver and hoped the pilot would recover soon. Pak Samad and his friends then continue walking in the paddy field. Okay, so what is the answer for our final question? Okay, let's look at the given answers again. Yeah, finally, okay, they should be hospital. Okay, they asked the driver to send the pilot to a hospital. Okay, so everyone, that's the end of our passage today. Okay, it seems to be quite difficult as you need to read through word by words, right? Okay, and you need to read through the given passage. 
So the best strategy is to read more in English and imagine it in your head. I hope everyone has learned something from my lesson today. Can remember to give me a like, share to your friends, and subscribe my lesson. Bye. I'll see you again.